वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश फाइव सो स्टेटमेंट इज सेलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट वेट स्टील वाइट फ्लैंज बीम फ्रॉम अपेंडिक्स बी दैट विल सेफली सपोर्ट द मशीन लोडिंग शोन द एलोवेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेंटी फोर के एस आई एंड एलोवेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज फोर्टीन के एस आई सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम एंड दिस इज द लोडिंग ड्यू टू मशीन एंड ऑल द लेंथ ऑफ द बीम इज गिवन एज टेन फीट क्लियर सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट वेट वाइट फ्लैंज बीम सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ वी रिमूव द सपोर्ट सो देर विल बी रिएक्शन फोर्स लेट दिस इज यूर पॉइंट ए सो रिएक्शन एट दिस विल बी आर ए एंड दिस इज पॉइंट बी सो इफ यू रिमूव सपोर्ट फ्रॉम पॉइंट बी सो डेफिनेटली यू विल हैव अ रिएक्शन फोर्स एट पॉइंट बी सो हाउ यू विल फाइंड दैम सो यू विल अप्लाई द इक्वलिब्रियम कंडीशन द फर्स्ट इक्वलिब्रियम कंडीशन इज दैट सम ऑफ ऑल मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेकिंग द काउंटर क्लाक वाइज मूवमेंट एज पॉजिटिव सो अबाउट पॉइंट ए the movement is due to first movement is due to this force and perpendicular distance is 2 feet so it will be clockwise and it will be negative the second movement will be due to this force and perpendicular distance is 4 feet and it will be also clockwise and it will be negative the third movement will be 5 into perpendicular distance is now 6 and this will be clockwise so it will be also negative the fourth movement about point a is 5 into perpendicular distance is 8 and that will be also clockwise the fifth movement due to point a due to load rb is rb into perpendicular distance is 10 feet and it will be counter clockwise so it will be positive so i will write all of them first one is 5 into perpendicular distance is 2 the second one is minus 5 into perpendicular distance is 4 the third one is minus 5 into perpendicular distance is 6 minus 5 into 8 plus rb into 10 their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve it you will get rb will be equal to 10 kips Similarly, you can find R B by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward force as positive. So you can see we have R A which is upward here, and these four forces that is downward. So I will write minus twenty plus R B which is ten is equal to. Zero. So it means that R A is also equal to ten kips. I have solved it. By the way, you can take it directly. You can see this total is twenty kips, and this beam is a symmetrical beam about a half. So twenty is divided by these two loads. So ten ten load will be there. But I have solved it for you. Now you can see at this point. the load is 10 kips and similarly at this point the load is also 10 kips so i will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and from then that we will calculate the maximum bending moment and maximum shear force so let i will draw the shear force over here along this we have the length That is x. V will be in kips. Every division is of five kips. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Similarly, here minus five, minus ten, and so on. So at this point, initially we have a ten kips. So this will be your first point. Now from this point till two feet. there is no load so this 10 will remain same 10 kips will remain same so from this point till 2 feet this will this is 10 now at this point you have a load of 5 kips so 10 minus 5 will be will bring it to 5 so this will come down to the 5 now from this 
5 this to t this there will be no force shear force so this 5 will remain same and it will remain same till this point okay now from this to this there is no shear uh, at this point we have 5 kips so plus 5 minus 5 will bring down it to 0 now from this point till this point there is no shear force so it will be a straight line at this point we have a load of 5 kips minus 5 so it will go down to minus 5 so this is your minus 5 again from this far minus 5 to this point there is no shear force so it will remain same clear but at this point we have a 5 kips so minus 5 and minus 5 will be minus 10 and this 10 will remain same till this point where you have a 10 kips load so it will move upward it will be a straight line so this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending moment diagram so bending moment will be in kips into feet okay so our first area under the bending moment will be this one so this is rectangular so its height is 10 multiplied by 2 this this distance is 2 feet so it will give you 20 feet so let each division is 10 20 30 and 40 kips into feet so first was 20 so at this point if i put this point so 20 will be here and you can see that shear force is a zero degree line so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line with a with first degree so this is 20. now the second area under the shear force diagram is this one which is 5 multiplied by 2 which is 10 so 10 so 20 is already there plus 10 is 30 so at this point it will be 30 so it will be again a straight line now there is uh, the, at this point you can see that shear force is zero so bending moment will remain same till this point clear so bending moment will remain same till this point it will remain 30 now at here you can see we have this area which is minus 5 into this width is 2 minus 10 so 30 minus 10 will be 20 so slope as this will be negative so slope will be downward so minus 20 will be here so you have to join it like this and the last area which is minus 10 into this 2 feet so will be should be minus 20 so this is this point was 20 plus 20 minus 20 will bring down it to 0 so this is your bending moment diagram now from this bending moment diagram we can calculate the maximum bending moment and this maximum bending moment you can see is 30 kips into feet and in term of inch it will be 30 into 12 and the unit will be kips into pound now we have allowable stress given that was 24 ksi so you can easily calculate the required section modulus so required section modulus is maximum bending moment over allowable stress so 30 into 12 divided by 24 will give you required section modulus that is equal to 15 cubic inch now you have to go the, to the appendix b of the book and you will select the wide flange beam so let's move and go to the appendix b at the end of book <coughs> this is the appendix b section uh, sorry 
appendix B is this geometric property. And you have to scroll down to check the value of section modulus. Now you can see over here you can see 15 is 20. now you if you look at here this is section modulus so here 17 is closest to 15 and 17 is greater than 1 so it means w12 by 16 can be selected so its height is 11.99 thickness of web is 0.20 0 0.22 and section modulus is this so note down this value and we'll write it over here so from appendix b we selected w 12 by 16 the property of that is section modulus was 17.1 cubic inch its total height is was 11.99 inch and thickness of web is 0 0.220 inch so this is the uh, selected beam for confirmation we will check it with the allowable stress allowable stress sharing stress was given as 14 ksi and we know that maximum sharing stress in beam is equal to V max divided by uh, depth or height of this beam into thickness of web. So maximum sharing stress over here is 10. So you can just put the value 10 divided by 0 0.220 which is thickness and height is 11.99. And this maximum sharing stress comes out to be 3.79 KSI while allowable sharing stress is 14 KSI. So maximum sharing stress developed in your beam is less than allowable sharing stress. So hence we can use W. 12 by 16 so this was all about our problem 11.5 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification regarding my new upcoming videos thank you for watching